guys. Hope your day is off to a really good start. I'm just going to apologize in advance because my nose is super stuffy. So hopefully you guys can understand me today. But I'm downstairs in my gym and I wanted to talk to you guys about um, three ways that, three skills that you need if you want to be a female entrepreneur. Um, and I feel like there are lists or things, uh, resources out there on the internet, but a lot of them don't apply to women and our needs and skill sets are different than men. And unfortunately, a lot of the uh, research and books and things that you can find about being your own boss appeal to men. So we're going to talk about that today. I have three things that you can work on or the three things you need to focus on if you're going to be a successful female entrepreneur. The first one is confidence. Um, yeah, and, I, and I'm going to give you things that are real. Unfortunately, like, I think a lot of people think they need to take a class or, like, which is great, um, or, like, they need to get a degree or th they just have to do all these other, like, technical skill things. And really, that does matter, but the first thing you have to do is actually be confident. If you are not confident in yourself uh, and you're not confident in the business and the services and products that you offer, no one else will be confident in them either. And you're asking people to give you money for something. So you have to be extremely confident in what you're doing and you have to, to exude that confidence all the time when you're talking about your business and what you have to offer. Um, so I think the number one thing that you should be focused on is your confidence. Um, so many times I can't tell you to this day, there are so many things that I will sit on or wait on or ideas that will get delayed because I'm not confident in them. And so I just don't put them out. Um, I don't even get started. So you can't even get to all the other things that you need to do to be a successful entrepreneur if you don't have confidence and if you don't get started. So the next thing that I want to talk about is number two, self-discipline. Um, you have got to have some kind of discipline. Unfortunately, or fortunately, the whole benefit of being your own boss is that there is nobody to report to. There's nobody that's going to be like, hey, did you get that report done? What about that project? Um, are you going to go ahead and can complete that content? There's absolutely no one to answer to. So to be successful, you have to be very self-motivated and extremely driven, and you have to really just be consistent. Um, so that can be really difficult when you're on your own. Um, there are some days where it's extremely easy, where I'm feeling very passionate, and I can get up and I just can work nonstop without sleep, you know, forever. Um, or there are also those days where I feel very passionate and motivated, but I have kids and people who are interrupting me. So those are the days where truly I have to have some self-discipline, whether that's getting up early in the morning and sacrificing some sleep or staying up late after the kids go to bed, sacrificing some sleep. Sleep gets sacrificed a lot. Um, but you do have to be willing to work hard and in ways that aren't obvious. Like it's not a nine to five kind of job. So um, one of the ways that I kind of help myself be disciplined. Um, I will procrastinate on content or projects or products all the time. So what I'll do is I'll just release to my followers, to my email list, to my customers. I'll just tell everyone, my friends and my family, I'll just tell them about the product and give them a date and a release date. So if I've been working on an ebook, I'm just going to tell them like the ebook releases in five days. Um, most of you are interested in being female um, entrepreneurs because you want to do a good job and you're going to execute. You're going to deliver on your promises. So if you make the promise and you deliver the date, you're going to do the work. So when push comes to shove, that is my number one um, tip or technique to get myself to get stuff done. Um, so lastly, you guys have to be visible. You have to get in front of people. And that is very uncomfortable for some people. I know it is for me to just be in front of people and talking about what I do often um, even though I love what I do and I'm really confident with it, um, that's hard for me. So it might be hard for you too. The important thing though is that you have to do it. If you're not going to do it, your business isn't going to be successful. So what I mean by getting visible is you have to get in front of your ideal customer. You can talk all day long to people who aren't interested in what you have to offer, like your cousin or some of your Facebook friends. Um, that can be really detrimental to your confidence because those are people who aren't going to be customers anyway. So when you're not converting sales or you're not getting engagement, it's very, um, it's just hard on your confidence level. So I really want you to practice getting visible and in front of people. So what that means is you have to post often on social media, two to three times a day on at least two forms of, um, media so whether it's my favorite or instagram and facebook for what i do um, but it could be youtube and twitter whatever it is two to three times a day across at least two types of social media and that's one way that you can you know really get in front of people you can guest spot on other people's blogs or podcasts so if you have friends or if you know people even if you don't know them reach out to them you know if there's a blogger and ask if they might want to partner with you 
Um, let's see what else did I write down? Oh, consider starting a Facebook group. Facebook is huge, especially for women. Like we're, we're on it, it's a sense of community for us, especially when a lot of us are too busy to like go out and physically meet with people. So start a Facebook group for your customers for people who are like you. Not to sell to them, but just to engage with them and that will help you really get visible and just get in front of people. They need to know about you and they need to hear from you. So those are my three tips on how you can become or become more successful of a female entrepreneur. I hope it's helpful to you guys. I'm gonna get my workout in and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.